Good morning, friend. Welcome back to another episode of the More Than a Mother podcast. This is your host, Luan Moses, and I am back with you again. I am coming to you live from my bed. That is correct. This is not my usual setup. You have to excuse my, if you're watching this video, excuse my gray hair. I have not covered it up today. But I wanted to hop on the microphone and check in because it's been a while since you've heard from me by myself. You've been catching my guest interviews that I've done the past couple weeks live from Instagram. But here we are again. I feel like every time I come, I have some type of update to give you. It's just exciting. Things are just really moving along. Great things are going well. I'm just happy at where and have joy with where I am right now. Now, the audio may sound a little different because I'm not using my fancy equipment right now. As I said, I am live from my bed. My camera video may be a little bit crooked as I try to fix it while I'm talking. But hey, this is life. As I said, I feel like I always have some type of update to give. Something to say. All of that last few times I've been here. But if this is your first time listening, my name is Lawan Moses. I am a content creator and podcast host here at More Than a Mother Podcast, where we believe you can pursue your dreams and be a great mom at the same time. On the podcast, we uplift, educate, and empower moms on their business and motherhood ventures. So welcome if you are new. Welcome back if you are a loyal listener. What's going on with me? What's been up? Well, first off, over Easter and the week after, found out that I had COVID. So that's where I have been and that is why I'm live from my bed right now because this is where I've pretty much been for most of the week working right here from my office in my bed taking it easy relaxing recuperating all of that I mean it really could have been a whole lot worse again I had more symptoms than when I first had COVID in July 2020 but it still was not as bad as it could have been so I'm grateful that I am healing and all of that so that is why we're in this setup that is why we're doing it this way because I just felt the urge to talk to you and I don't have the energy right now to set up the equipment. So I hope this is all right. Anyway, I am excited because my Instagram live interviews have been going well with the guests. I hope you have been enjoying those. I have more coming up. I did have two interviews that were supposed to be done this past week, but again, I was sick, so I've had to reschedule those. But trust me, more and more mom guests are coming up, still sharing the stories that you love. Also, I am just still active on all the platforms doing all these things. And I am just loving where life is right now. But you know, the podcast is my heart. You guys are my heart. This is where it all started. I would say that more than a mother, the vision of the podcast, all of that has led me to where I am now two years later. I can't believe it's been two years since we started this journey together and just seeing all the doors that have opened, the level of elevation, growth, confidence, everything in myself, just from you guys allowing me to sit here and talk to you week after week, bring guests for you to hear and for your continuous support. I am truly grateful. Now, I am launching into another exciting venture. As you know, I always have something going on. And I'm sorry if the camera is shaking if you're watching this because it's on my lap. I mean, I said I'm in my home bed office right now. So I have my lap desk on my lap. So of course I am very animated when I talk. So the camera's probably moving because I am moving when I talk. Sorry about that. But I have launched into being a full-time content creator. Well, let me rephrase that because I still work full-time. So I'm not quite a full-time content creator. But for my business, content creation has become my primary Stream of income, that is probably the best way to put it. Now, what does that mean? A content creator, Luan, you create content all the time. You create content for the podcast, for social media, all of that. What does that mean? I have launched into what is called user-generated content. This is a concept that I have just learned about, I would say, we're in April now. So probably the end of February, I started learning about it, doing research on it, connecting with some people. And this past week, I launched into my user-generated content creation journey, and I am so excited about where it is going. So what is user-generated content? It's basically where you create content for brands to use on their platforms. So instead of being an influencer and worrying about growing your platform, keeping your engagement rate up, growing your followers, your community, all of that, while yes, you do still need to have personality, know how to create content, etc. 
but the pressure is not on you to have a following, have a certain level of engagement, all of that. What you're doing is taking your skills as a content creator and you're offering to the brands. Because if you don't know, a TikTok is new to a lot of people. It's still relatively new and especially to brands. And TikTok is really taking over, I'll say. It is going to be the next big thing or it is the next big thing, however you want to look at it. It is that platform right now that has the it factor, so to speak. People are growing on there, getting so many opportunities, all of this. And brands are now recognizing the importance of platforms such as TikTok and then also the importance of having consumer content. And that's really what it is. So instead of brands contracting with me to put their content and their product on my page, what we're doing is contracting for me to create that content, create that ad so that the brand can take it and use it on their platform to start to grow their platform and use this user generated content on their platforms because brands are now recognizing the influence. So it's still the influence of the people. It's just being done in a different way. And I was introduced to this concept and really became drawn to it because the idea of having to create of creating this content and then being able to contract with a brand, be paid for it and let them take it and use it on their platform. Hey, I love that idea. So that is what I have jumped into this past week. And it's been a wonderful adventure. The UGC community is so welcoming. I have found my, I haven't been on Twitter in forever, but I have found my people on Twitter and I am loving it. I booked two clients in my first official week as a UGC creator. And I just, I love creating content. And because I love creating content, I was like, this is for me. Content creation brings me joy. Like I've always told you from the podcast, I love being here on the podcast, love talking to you. This is a form of content creation. Creating my TikToks, creating my reels, all of that brings me joy. So now I get to get paid to do something I love. As I have been doing and building with this business, getting paid to do something I love, but I'm really finding that I truly enjoy making content, especially short form content for TikTok and Instagram reels. So that is what's been happening with me this past week, I would say, between the COVID and jumping into UGC content, back hair with the podcast. Then I'm also still doing my TikTok and mom coaching because I have moms. I'm not going to forget about where I started. Where are my strengths? My strengths are in productivity, organization, empowerment, now content creation. So I am happy to be able to bring this opportunity to moms. I'm happy to be able to educate my community and help mom content creators out here, help moms and business out here to continue to grow. I am a, a wonderful community on TikTok, a wonderful community of moms. If you're not on TikTok, get over there because that is where it's at. There are so many moms on TikTok, so many moms having a good time growing their business, whatever their business is, content creators, coaches, product-based, service-based, whatever it is. There are so many moms on TikTok right now, and that is really where you are getting a lot of organic growth and reach, and you are being seen over and over again by so many people. Right now, the reach is endless when it comes to TikTok. If you're not over there, I definitely recommend that you jump over there, join me over there, meet me over there. Trust me, you'll love it there. I love it there. But I say all that to say... There's just so much happening. I don't know what I was saying all that to say for, but there's a lot happening. As I said, I feel like I always have an update for you when I come here because things are moving that fast. And I know, and I want to apologize because I really haven't sat down and done my solo episodes as I have in the past, but let's talk about that because I feel like I would do you a disservice if I am not being 100% honest with you. You know how you start to feel out of alignment with something and you have to figure out how to get into alignment again? And that has been my struggle with this podcast. Yes, when I started, all those messages like more to her story, all that, it was resonating so well. But as you know, things elevate, things grow, things take a different path. So as I said, when I first started this season, those were some of the struggles that I was having with getting in alignment 
I'm really kind of in that same place because I want to keep more than a mother the core of what it is. But at the same time, I keep being called to do more. But I don't want to take away from more than a mother as at its foundation, if that makes sense. So that is the struggle that I'm still having because there's so much knowledge, so many things I want to share. But I don't want to come on here and give you all this business information when that is not what the core of more than a mother is. It's helping you to grow in your business, motherhood, and life ventures. So right now, I need to figure out how to make all of those things kind of make sense again. Maybe story times like this, updates like this, not just updates, but having more of those conversations about journeys in business and all of that because I really do have a lot of knowledge to share that I feel can help moms, especially those that are launching into going into entrepreneurship full-time or doing a side hustle and running a business or just, excuse me, I said that all wrong, working full-time and running a business or whatever it is. I have such a knowledge base and I don't want to sit on that, but I don't want to lose the foundation of what more than a mother is. I don't want this to become like a business entrepreneurship podcast because that's not what it is. So that is my struggle right now. And I'm just always honest. I have lots of struggles. So I'm figuring it out. And I like to be here to talk to you and let you know that I'm figuring it out because I have an idea and a plan, but I wanted to be honest with you. I don't always have it all figured out. I don't always have it all together, but adapt, adjust, pivot. That has been the theme. Adapt, adjust, pivot, and you figure it out. So that is what we are doing. So I have some ideas for episodes that are coming up. I'm really going to sit down and I want to batch record these episodes because I have a lot happening with the UGC creator piece and then a lot happening with the TikTok content mom coaching piece that I really need to sit down and batch record these episodes. But the problem is I was hitting a creative roadblock when it came to what content I wanted to create for the podcast because the way I had been doing it for the past two years has not been resonating with me anymore. So it's okay to pause. And that's what I did. I didn't force myself to create any content. I brought my mom guests on because the mom piece will always be there. I am still in alignment with that part, bringing moms on to share their stories, their journey, their tips to help other moms. That part I am still in alignment with. I am all about that because this is all about mom empowerment. So the mom guest piece is there, the more to her story piece, the mom sharing their how they're doing it all and sharing their best tips with you. That part I am still in alignment with. The part that I had fell out of alignment with was my piece and my solo episodes, what I want those to look like and what information I want to deliver because... As you say, you elevate, you grow. So you don't talk about the same things anymore. You learn from them. As I said, these episodes help me grow as a person. So it's not natural to be talking about a lot of the things I was talking about two years ago, if that makes sense, or the past two years. But I have an idea. And I know I said this before, but it kept getting all jumbled up in there and it wasn't making sense. And I was at the point of, Okay, make it make sense. This needs to make sense. I'm not just putting fluff out here. You know, I don't do anything below ex excellence or subpar. So I am fine with pausing and not showing up for a solo episode. And that is what I did. You have to run the journey that is best for you. And I wasn't going to be forced to produce and put out just to keep up with a quote unquote consistency or a schedule, all of that. Yes, I I want to continue to bring you episodes week after week. I have some incredible moms coming up, but I wasn't going to force it. But I'm feeling energized again. It's all making sense. I'm figuring out how I can cater to the mom as a whole. Because as I said, this is about putting together the pieces of motherhood. And that is what, or the pieces of what make you mom, what make you you. And that is what we are going to do. So I thank you for listening. I thank you for being here. If we are not connected, make sure you connect with me off of the podcast. Check out my website. Find Join my mailing list. I want to start to send more emails and connect with you that way because it's nothing like having your own quote unquote community. Also, if you're on TikTok, come join me over there. 
you'll love it there. You get to see a whole different side of me. My All my social handles are the same, at LaJuan Moses. So join me over there. I'm still on Instagram. Join me there. And if you know anybody or if you are a brand that is listening, you have a business and you're trying to get some TikToks, get some reels for your business and you just say, oh, I need some help. Check out the link to my UGC portfolio. Pass it on to those that you know. I am here and ready to work and create content. So again, I thank you for being here. I hope that the week was great to you. Next week, I believe I'll be back. Yes, I have some guests that are coming up. I got a few interviews to make up since I was sick, but I'm still recovering. I'm still here, still loving and living life. And remember, as always, you've got this. So hang in there, mama.